59. You are watching hashtag GTV Breakfast. Make sure you pay your TV license, okay? We need that <laughs> to make things flow. So uh, this year, GBC is 88 years old. Um, but I'm about to have a conversation with the CEO of an organization which is far younger, but just as vibrant, celebrating 20 years of existence, Payport Savings and Loans. And I have with me the CEO of this organization, Akwesi Abwaji. Happy birthday. Good morning. Welcome to GTV Breakfast. Hi, good morning, um, Kafui, and um, I'd like to say a good morning to our cherished uh, viewers and be portiers and my family. Excellent. Uh, how does it feel to be uh, in charge of a 20-year-old uh, company? Um, I think... Uh, if, if, if there's one thing that uh, BIPO stands for, it stands for impact. Um, over the last 20 years, we've had a very, very, very big impact o on financial services in Ghana. Um, and therefore, I'm really, really proud to be associated with what we've achieved over the last 20 years. Being a very young um, institution, but changing the, the face of credit in Ghana mm -hmm. is really, really something that we're proud of. Awesome. We'll get to how you've changed the face of credit in Ghana in a bit, but just start us from the beginning. Um, how did you begin? So if you know um, economics, one of the things about the world is for a country to grow, you need credit. Mm -hmm. If you look at um, Ghana and Africa as a whole, the founders of this company realized that there was a big gap. Mm -hmm. You had workers who were working every day of the Every day of the week they go to work, but you can't access credit because you needed collateral. So anytime you go to a bank, you need to put your house down or to put your car down. But we said, how do we fix that? We decided that we would then engage with the employers to say, so for as long as you have the employees working with you, mm -hmm. you can deduct and pay on our behalf, and then we can advance loans to mm -hmm. them. So 20 years ago, the founders of this company um, saw that vision and then they came to Ghana and then they spoke to two um, companies or two uh, associations, the Ghana Mines Association and then the Ghana Teachers Union. Um, and Anglo Gold Asante was our first and inaugural client. So we started off in Obuase, a small office on the premises of Anglo Gold Ashanti, nice. with Anglo Gold Ashanti being our first uh, employer that we started working with. Client number one. Client number one. Mm -hmm. um, and then subsequently, we then added on the teachers, um, and then we then signed on the biggest, uh, which is the Control and Accountant General's Department, mm -hmm. where today uh, we are the largest um, in terms of market share, we control about 16% of the market share. But what's more important is the fact that if you think about it, for a lot of people within the public service, their first loan came from Bayport. Mm. So if you go to most of the schools, you would realize that for a lot of the teachers, their first house, their kids' education, um, if, if, if they have a spouse who, who is selling something on, on, on campus, most of them took loans from Bayport to be able to start that. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's how, I mean, the financial ecosystem then changed with a lot of people coming on board. So we started off in 2003 as Ghana Financial Services, mm -hmm. um, and then we transitioned into Bayport uh, Financial Services, mm -hmm. and that's become the, the household name mm -hmm. that we know mm -hmm. uh, for loans. But in 2017, uh, what we did was we merged with our sister company called Consumer Finance Company to become Bayport Savings and Loans. And that began the journey of where we are today, uh, where we then decided to take the, digital, uh, the business on a digital transformation journey. So between 2017 and now, a lot has happened in the business in terms of transforming the business to become a fully digitized um, enterprise. And that's something that, and that's a journey we are on. We haven't completed uh, that. Congratulations, you've done a lot in the last 20 years. Uh, let's talk some numbers. I mean, if you're looking at your loan book, your, your annual turnover, I mean, what can you tell us? I mean, to show us the growth over the last two decades. 
So one of the things that we've done is really, really to work within the public service. And, you know, within the public service in Ghana, that's where you have a lot of your low to mid income earners. So over the last 20 years, we've served over 200,000 customers. Today, we have 100,000 plus active Mm-hmm. payroll customers and these customers come for facilities from us um, another thing that we've also done is to also then um, work with institutions to sort cement the model that we've that we've that we've put in place on an annual basis a business is able to generate in excess of 250 million cities um, gross revenue um, we operate out of 10 branches um, and we have 35 um, sales centers dotted across the country, mm-hmm. 230 members of staff, 1,500 um, sales agents who work for us. And all of these people contribute to the ecosystem, the economics, because we pay taxes off for everybody, we're providing employment. So there's a lot that we've done in the last 20 years. And, and it's also important to say that for a lot of people who've managed to get loans today in Ghana, mm-hmm. It was only possible because we took that, um, we saw that gap, we saw the opportunity, and we decided to go forward and and and, and bring the model that has become um, a household name today, which is the payroll lending model. Yeah, I can see that you are really a Bayport person through and through, just rattling off the numbers um, right through your your, uh, your 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 presentation. You talked earlier about changing the face of credit in Ghana. So let's talk about, about some of the, the products, the new products that you have that are continuing to to change the face of, of the business? So, as I did mention, we are known for loans. Mm-hmm. So, everybody knows us as Bayport Financial Services. So, um, if you talk about loans, one of the things that we did was to bring the deduction as source um, lending model, which is the payroll model that today every financial institution is trying to do. So, what we did was to set the ground for what has become the unsecured lending model in Ghana. So mm. almost all of the banks, most financial institutions are doing what we do. Now, the other side, which is our deposit taking side, which is the saving side, is where we have begun to develop and we are putting a lot of technology in. So we have two main products, our target safe product. So if you have an intention to maybe buy a house, to buy land, to invest somewhere, our deposit mobilization team would work with you um, in saving. So our product is called the target safe. So we work towards a certain goal, which is something that is really, really um, a game changer. Mm-hmm. Our other product is our fixed deposit product, where we have fixed deposits of tenors between 31, um, 91, 182, and 365 mm-hmm. at very competitive rates. Mm-hmm. The other thing, one of the one of one thing that I, I, I always like to say is when you keep money with banks, at the end of every month, you see a lot of deductions. Mm-hmm. Monthly service charge, uh, SMS charge, card fee, uh, withdrawal fee. We don't charge any fees for saving with us. Uh, and it's important that we, 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 we highlight that because not only are risk competitive, when you come to us and you leave your funds with us, you will come back and meet your funds intact, um, unlike a lot of other institutions where your, your funds get run down just as a result of the, the several charges that um, are applied to your account on, on a monthly basis. I'm sure there are other things that uh, you've talked about. You've spoken about deduction at source. Um, what, there's some no fee, no commission, things like that that will make things interesting for, for, for people who don't want to have all these add-ons to their, their... So talk to us about that. So, I mean, if I'm a customer and I'm saving... Um, one of the things I don't want is a lot of deductions. And, and, and for me, that's one of the things that I believe we can do better as financial institutions. And that's why we don't charge. So if you come and you save with us, not only are you earning a decent and competitive interest, we are not deducting anything from you, which is very different from what you see, especially across the commercial bank. So we're really, really hoping that... Um, a lot of the, the public and the and out there would get in touch with us. Our deposit mobilization teams would uh, guide you in terms of how to plan your 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 savings um, for the future. For those who are interested in fixed deposits, I mean, uh, what can Bayport do for for them? So the rates are very competitive. So it's really dependent on your needs. Um, and and for as a human being, you you usually have to do what's called planning, cash flow planning. So depend on how 
urgently you need your funds you can invest for 31 days you can invest for 91 days 182 days but the team would listen to your mm -hmm. your needs and then based on the assessment of will we'll then give you the best product that that allows you to plan for for your future so uh, I'm, I'm really glad i'm having this conversation because I, I, i'm getting to know a little bit more about about bayport you've talked about how the customers and the, the clients benefit but let's look at the macro picture i mean in terms of your contribution to the economy um what has bayport's contribution been to date so i think the impact of bayport is not um said enough I've, i i always say this any, anytime i meet with my team because if you look at what's happened today in financial service and credit, mm -hmm. the growth in unsecured lending is just because Bayport took that opportunity. This is lending where you don't <coughs> need any collateral or anything? Where there's no collateral. Okay. So, I mean, the person is working, the person earns a salary, but you keep asking for so mm -hmm. much more, mm -hmm. which, which then makes it more and more difficult mm -hmm. for the average to low income earner to take a loan. So several millions of Ghanaians have now been able to take loans only because we took that opportunity. Another thing that we've also done is if you look at um, the West, capital markets is really one of the places that um, SMEs and companies tap um, and raise funding from. <coughs> Sorry. So Bayport has been very, very, very heavy on the capital markets. Mm -hmm. So on the stock exchange, we've raised almost 500 million cities in bonds. Mm -hmm. We've paid down 310 million cities of that. Um, and, and all these payments we've done on time. Um, to our investor community, I mean, we, we have very regular engagements with our investor communities. I mean, on a quarterly basis, we try and meet with our investor community to just give them an update on the business, to give them an understanding of the business. And because of that, you know, early this year, when the domestic debt exchange program <coughs> had ended, um, we decided to go back to the market. Um, at the time, you know, the issues of COVID-19 and the Russia-Ukraine war had really, really affected the capital market activity. So there wasn't much activity. So we managed to go back and raise 50 million cities of the debt and capital market. Mm -hmm. And that's what effectively reopened the bond market today. And we've seen a few players go back in. Um, and that really is a testament of, of, of the trust that the investor community has in a business that continues to evolve um, and work with them to, to, for, for, for shared success um, amongst us. Great stuff. Congratulations. Um, you know, so you're wondering, okay, well, they've, they've done well. 20 years, <laughs> they've done all my And by the way, we're speaking with CEO of um, Bayport Savings and Loans, Akwesi Abwaji, celebrating 20 years uh, of... Um, good business in Ghana. So people are thinking, oh yes, well, happy birthday to you. Blow your, your candles on your cake and everything. But what are you giving back to society in terms of corporate social responsibility, CSI um, work? What, 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 what have you done? What are you planning to do? So we are a company that is very involved in our communities. So one of the things that we believe in at Bayport is education. Um, as I did mention, our second um, association we engaged with was the Ghana Teachers Association mm -hmm. um, and the various teacher unions. So our scholarship uh, scheme is our flagship program where we sponsored over 150 um, students, brilliant but needy students from junior high all the way through to the tertiary institutions to the extent that we have some of them who are employed in Bayport after they've gone through that. Currently, we have 30 people on that scholarship program. In addition, we've done a lot of road safety campaigns. Um, our staff came together last year to adopt an orphanage where we rehabilitated the orphanage, built a new kitchen, built a new bathroom, rehabilitated the classrooms. We plan on doing two orphanages this year. Um, last year, we decided to also go back to the health sector when Nagogo Presby Hospital reached out and spoke about concerns about um, maternal mortality and the fact that they needed incubators and phototherapy machines, and we purchased incubators and phototherapy machines for them also to support them. So we are very, very, very heavily involved in the society, and it's something that is at the heart of the business, and we will continue to do uh, that a lot more. 
So just listening to you over the past 10 minutes, well, I can see the mission is clear. You're providing financial solutions suited to the needs of uh, an inclusive and uh, a broad customer base. You've embraced technology, so digitization is a big deal. You are clearly leading in terms of products and innovation, and um, you started 20 years ago. What should the next 20 years look like? I mean, if I am sitting here, God willing, at the age of 72, long past retirement, <laughs> What should we look forward to? What would I be asking you if you're still the CEO? <laughs> in 20 years, I wouldn't be the CEO, <laughs> but um, in... Maybe a former CEO, looking back at, 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 at Bayport. What do you think the next 20 years would look like? I think that the future excites me. Um, mm. If I look at what we've done in just 20 years, the, the, the impact we've had on financial services in Ghana, and the changes that's been happening globally. I mean, if you look at what's happening with ChatGBT, mm. um, artificial intelligence, a business that's very digitized. Um, our customers, we've taken our customers on this journey with us. Mm. So we started 20 years when it was a lot of paper. Mm -hmm. Today, we've, we've brought in a lot of technology. So a lot of our customers are able to access our products using technology. Mm -hmm. So what we are looking to do in the next 20 years is to incorporate a lot of technology into the business to continue leading as a financial service provider of choice to, to, uh, through digital. But we also understand that uh, our customers are at different phases of that journey. So mm. you still have some customers who would want a fiscal touch point. Mm. But ultimately, we believe that uh, we'll become a digital business, providing digital financial solutions to our customers. Awesome. Is there anything else you want to add to this chat that I've been having with you with respect to your 20 years of Bayport Savings and Loans? Um, on this 20th anniversary, I think I would really, really want to celebrate Bay Portiers, um, all staff, all sales agents, all, all third parties who've worked with Bayport in these 20 years. You know, we are not a traditional bank. We, we do a lot of hands-on. We try to keep things very simple. We're very entrepreneurial. So um, I want to use this occasion to celebrate Bay Portiers. Um, just, just to say a very big thank you to everybody for all of the hard work in getting us to this point. And there's, there's still a lot of work ahead. Um, as part of our celebrations, there's, we, we have some programs also lined up, mm -hmm. which is we'll be rehabilitating some schools um, in four regions, um, and, we, and we'll be doing some seminars for students. So there's a lot that we'll be doing as Bayport um, as part of the celebration, so please look out for, for that. And don't forget to, to, to get in touch with us through our various um, social media handles. On Instagram, we are Bayport Savings and Loans GH. Um, on LinkedIn, we are Bayport GH. So just get in touch with us. Somebody will uh, touch base with you to help you so that you can invest with us um, and save. So um, that's what. Well, whoever recruited you did a good job because I think you've been an eloquent spokesperson for the brand. And I want to say congratulations. Thank you. And happy 20th uh, birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Akwesi Abwaji is the CEO of Bayport Savings and Loans, celebrating two decades. How many days is that? Do your mathematics quickly. And wishing you the very best from all of us here at GTV Breakfast. Okay, my name is Kafui Day, and I think there are more conversations <laughs> that are going to be happening. Let me consult my, my, my paper. <laughs> so there's a conversation on youth, democracy, elections, and peace. What a mix. What a mix. And Dr. Muzavengana Chibuana from Zimbabwe, and Eunice Kisiwajan from Ghana will be here to talk about youth, democracy, elections, and peace. 10th July 2023, you are watching GTV Breakfast. Please play your TV license. Star 447, star 333, hash. I know the Bay Potiers will all pay. <laughs> you will? Oh, yes. Awesome. Thank you very much. He's given us assurance. Yes. So thank you. We'll be back after this break. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>